Welcome back to Between Bells. NFTs have a dirty secret. Non-fungible tokens share a harmful characteristic with cryptocurrencies in that they both use a lot of energy. Greenhouse gas emissions are tied to NFTs. And here to talk more about the recent article, The Climate Controversy Swirling Around NFTs, is the author, Justine Kalma, science reporter at The Verge. Justine, thank you so much for joining us. This is a really important thank issue. Thank you so much for having so me. How of course. So how exactly are NFTs and cryptocurrency slash crypto art impacting the environment? Sure. And, and that's a great question. Uh, it's important to note first that, uh, you know, not all cryptocurrencies, not all blockchain technologies are the same. Uh, NFTs, however, uh, are at least partially responsible for the tons of greenhouse gas emissions tied to the cryptocurrencies used to buy and sell them, uh, primarily Ethereum, which is based on a model that is, is heavily polluting um, called proof of work, which is used to keep the blockchain, the blockchain secure. Great. And for those who are just now entering into the world of NFTs and maybe the world of crypto because of it, how are NFTs and crypto related? If you could just break that down. Sure, sure. And so, uh, well, NFT and NFT is an individual piece of, of crypto art uh, and it, it's largely bought and sold with, with the cryptocurrency Ethereum. Um, now, I can go into to why um, Ethereum is, you know, is responsible for a lot of greenhouse gases. Actually, by um, by estimates, as much as the entire country of of Libya. Yeah, and how does that work? Why is that 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 when you are using this particular currency, it results in something that uh, produces greenhouse gases? Right. So, so cryptocurrencies. Uh, are decentralized ledgers. And so uh, with a blockchain like Ethereum, uh, since you have no sort of central authority like a, a bank to, uh, to, to oversee transactions and make sure that they're, they're secure and accurate, it relies on a system called proof of work, uh, which basically requires uh, cryptocurrency miners to, uh, to solve puzzles using energy guzzling machines. Uh, and in return, they're rewarded with with uh, either coins, tokens, or or transaction fees. Now, those machines, uh, because they guzzle up so much energy, they uh, they in turn generate a lot of of greenhouse gases. And so, uh, you have estimates that you know a single NFT. Uh, on average, um, can have a carbon footprint as large as that of an EU resident for, for an entire month. Wow, that is incredible. And what are some of the factors that go into it, if you are aware, um, as far as which NFTs would pollute the environment on differing levels? So would it be based on how much they cost or the demand around them? Or what sort of goes into that? Sure. So the most important thing to consider if you're looking for, you know, which uh, which cryptocurrency to deal in if you want to buy and sell NFTs is, is to look at uh, whether they use a, a proof of work model or, or a different model to keep uh, the, the ledger secure. Uh, there all are, are alternatives like the blockchain flow, which operates on a different model that doesn't require uh that doesn't require miners to verify transactions by solving complex puzzles using those energy guzzling machines. And so that then would have a vastly smaller carbon footprint. Justine, I think it's really interesting for people, especially because over even the past few weeks, we've seen a lot of high profile musicians getting in on the NFT craze, celebrities, public figures, even athletes. So there's now an artist led effort to do more research and find out how we can make this space more eco-friendly. Can you talk a little bit more about that and what is leading that effort? That's right. And so just as, as you've seen this crypto art craze take off, you've also seen quite a bit of backlash. Um, you have seen uh, 
online marketplaces like ArtStation, which is a, a, a marketplace for digital artists. Uh, last week, it, it canceled plans to launch a platform for NFTs within hours because of the backlash that it got, uh, you know, uh, artists on Twitter calling NFTs an, an ecological nightmare. Um, and so, so ArtStation quickly backed away. Um, now you're also finding a lot of artists who are looking for, for solutions. Um, some have started efforts to, to raise money uh, to reward uh, people with ideas on, on how to make NFTs more sustainable. You know, part of that is uh, could, could go towards uh, transitioning NFTs to, to blockchains that are, are not so energy hungry. Um, blockchains like Flow, which uh, NBA's Top Shot operates on, um, uh, other blockchains that use what's called a proof of stake. Uh, and that's something that Ethereum is, as, as well has has promised to, to transition to in the future and, and is, is uh, facing more pressure to do now. But there are certainly uh, solutions out there that that uh, artists are really leading the way uh, on uh, because you know the faster uh, those are, are adopted, the faster we can uh, address this, this so-called um, ecological nightmare uh, associated with NFTs. Justine Kalma, science reporter at The Verge. Thank you so much for breaking that down for us. Really appreciate it. 